213, 351 rail joints. Each rail joint insulated joint compromised the joint shall be struck at each time dimension of the rail in which it is applied. A joint bar of the crack broken because of the wear also excess vertical movement of either rail. When all the bolts are tight, it shall be replaced. The joint shall be cracked between the middle of the two bolts. It should be replaced. Each of the joint rail shall be bolted with at least two bolts at each joint. Each joint bar shall be held with the position of the track bolt tightened to allow the joint bar to firmly support the abutting rail ends into a logical and logical movement. <coughs> Moving to the rail to the joint with the accommodation expansion with the con con contracting due to the temperature variation when no slip of this joint of the rail to contact is this the design of the uh, requirements of this section does not apply to these locations when over the 400 feet long are considered a continuous welded rail track shall meet all the requirements of the continuous welded track prescribed in the subpart. F. No ra rail shall have a bolt with which is torch cut or burned. G. No joint bar shall have been reconfigured with the torch cutting. Application rail joints are considered to be necessary to discontinue with the required specialty attention of the railroad maintenance personnel safety inspectors as far as possible. The rail joint provided with the same strength, stiffness, flexibility, uniformity as the rail itself. The track safety standards recognize the important aspect of the rail joints beginning with the section of the requirement of the rail joints of the structural sound design, dimension of the rail on which they are applied by the FRA, the AREMA, A Association of American Railroads, and the Companion a Work Group, which was also issued the guidelines on which the rail joint bars meet the definition of the structurally sound for the purpose of the interchangeable with the indifference of the rail section. For the proper railroad transfer and to occur with the rail joints must contact with the head and the base of the rail with the joints of bars. Many of the rail joints of design have been used to vary at very, very degree of success for the track safety standards do not attempt to single out any of the particular designation of any only ac acceptable joints. This would inhibit innovation with the modern track design. The track safety standards are only required that the structural sound is the bolt condition the base on the authorized operation train speed. The inspectors are reminded to be alerted with the location of different rail sections that jo are joined with the rail joint. It's not designed as compromising joints are not identified with the fitting of the bolts of rail sections and illustrated the proper application of the compromised rail joint bars. Figure 6-9 shows the left hand and the left hand gate, left hand out and left hand gauge. The um, shows the right hand out and the right hand gauge. Um, the face between the between the rails and determining the, um, the rail determining the hand the rail determining rails at hand. Failures the owner of the chain to the outer of the center crack, other than the center crack, the joint bar, the book continues the reportable condition of the vertical rail with the movement of the joint continued use constitutes an exemption of, of the track safety chain. Track owners are required to maintain the prescribed number of the bolts in the rail joint. The track bone bolts must be sufficient tightness to allow the joint bars to support the joint firmly, but not also to be so tight to freeze the joint. An inspector must be aware of the multi mechanical bolt tightener has been a capability of the torque bolt beyond what is required, therefore, thereby freezing the joint. Paragraph F. Um, of this section prohibits the use of rail cutting the bolt uh, hole that using has been been by torture burn. Paragraph G of the section prohibits the reconfiguration of the joints by cutting the rail that can, has been welded together either the fill that or at a central facility in the lengths between seating 400 feet that are considered the continuous welded rail for the purposes of applying the requirement of this section. All right, defective code uh, defective codes 351 -0 one through O ten or to ten. Uh rail joint not structurally sound design and dimension. O two cracked and broken joint bar other than center break. O three center cracked and broken joint bar. O four worn joint bar allows vertical movement of the rail and joint. O five less than two bolts per rail at each joint in the conventional rail jointed rail. O six reserved. O seven less than two joints per rail at the joint at the continuous weld. O eight loosened joint cut joint bars. O nine torch cut and burnt hole. O ten three fifty one ten joint bar regular configuration torch cutting. All right, three fifty two thirteen um, three fifty two torch cut rail. Except this temporary rail with an emergency situation, not having the torch cut at each end shall be used. When the rail end with the torch cut is used in an emergency situation, the train speed over that rail shall not exceed the maximum allowable for the Class 2 track. All torch rail ends in the Class 6 shall be removed with be within six months of the September 21st, 1998. Following the expiration of the time limit specified in paragraph A of the section, any torch cut rail not removed shall be removed within 30 days of the discovery train speed, but the over the rail shall not be exceeded with the maximum allowable for class to track, two track to track unlimited. Application no torch cutting the rail is permitted except for the emergency sort, such as within the truck needs track needs to be quickly returned to the service following the derailment is washed out. No torch cut rails are considered to exist within in class six above the track prior to the effective day of the rule. The torch set cut uh, rails in class six, if they exist, they must be removed before April 30th, April 21st, 1999. If found with the track speed over the track cut rail must be discussed, reduced to class two, the removal must be removed within 30 days of the discovery.
All right, your defect codes are 35201 through 05. Torch cut rail applied for the other than emergency. 02, failure to remove the torch cut rails within specified time frame. 03, failure to remove the non in in inventory torch cut rail within 30 days of the discovery. 35204, reserved. 35205, train speed ex exceeds allowable over rail, over touch court, torch cut rail. Moving on to turnout, turnout track, turnout track costings, lifting rail assembly, other than transition devices on movable bridges. I'm going to continue reading. All right, A, in turn on the track crossing, the fastening must be enacted with the maintain so that it keeps the components with the security in place. Also, each of the switch and the frog guard rails shall be kept free of the obstruction that may interfere with the passage of the wheels. Use the ridge gra rail grade crossing is limited to per 213, 347. The track shall be equipped with the railway anchor through the, on each of the side of the track. The track crossing turn around to restrain the ra rail movement affecting the position of the switch and the po position of the frogs. Elastic fasteners designed to restrict, restrict the longitudinal rail movement of the considered the rail anchoring. Um, each flange way of the turn of the track crossing should be at least one and, half, one and one half inches wide for all the turnouts crossing over the lift, reassembly, and other transition devices. The movable bridge track owner shall prepare the and inspection, move, maintain guidance for the use of the railroad employees, which shall be contained and submitted with the FRA Regional Railroad Administration with the guidebook shall contain a minimum of one, the inspection frequency methodology, including the limiting of the measurement, the value of the components, subjects aware, and the requiring adjustment to the maintenance techniques, and each of the uh, e, each hand oper operated switch shall be equipped. With, these, uh, with a redundant operating mechanism to maintain the security of the switch at the point in position. Uh, a application of turnout is a track arrangement consisting of the switch and frog with the connection and operating of the parts extending with the point of the switch to the heel of the frog and then allowing the engine of the car to pass from the one track to the one or two because of the operating movable parts and the lateral thrust is essential for these fastenings to be placed in tight and in sound condition. A crossing the device used where the two tracks interact, intersect the grade permit of the track uh, in either the tr track or either crossing the rail or other cr uh, or others, it may consist of a four frog and connected with the short rail planted manufactured diamond because of the impact of the crossing is subject to it's essential for the last thing to be in the tight and sound condition using the rigid rail, rail crossing at the grade of the dot permitted at class eight and nine tracks. Each switch and frog and guard rail must be kept free, free of the obstruction anchors on each side of the turnout of the crossing throughout the turnout mandatory on class six above. Elastic fasteners are designed to restrict, restrict longitudinal rail movement under consideration rail anchoring, rail anchoring, ensuring, ensuring the restraint of the rail, proper the fitting of the switch point, prevention of the line irregularities, ties, ties and the timbers, our switches and crosses. Switches and crosses must be um, sound and condition well tamped, and the roadbed must be adequately drained. Flangeways and turnouts and rail crossing must be at least one and one half inches wide. For all turnouts and crossover, the lifting of the rail assembly, the other transition devices, movable bridges, railroads must prepare for the inspection, maintenance of the guidebook for the use of the railroad employees, which shall be submitted by the FRH, which shall contain a minimum of inspection frequency methodology, including the limiting the measurement values of the, all component subjects aware of the requiring re or adjustment maintain, maintenance techniques. Inspectors must review the railroad inspection guidebook for the conducting the inspection based on the safety criteria contained therein. In addition, inspectors must ascertain the guidebooks contains the required information listed above. The inspectors shall use the judgment in inciting the railroad for the failure to adhere to a guidebook. The guidebook must contain the provisions adhere in addressing the traditional type of the high speed turnout along with those components which may be developed in the future. Therefore, the inspector may be well available those defective codes that have been used for several years or lower speed turnouts and switches. Turnouts shall be, must be walked and measurements made before they can include the inspection report as a unit inspection. Inspectors must do the following when inspection switches to conform the compliance with the railroad guidebook, check alignment, gauge, and surface, examine the conditions as where to the switch points and stock rails, see all the bolts, and nuts, cotter pins, all other fastings are in place in good condition and, and probably fit properly tightened. See the switch points are fit snugly against the rail when the switch is thrown either in position test of the present present test in the presence of the owner's representative, the operation of the switch and the loss of the motion and loose connection. Examine if the applicability of the rod fastenings that connect the switch points to the switch circuit controlled to ensure that they are in place and in good condition. Examine the condition support of the spring power switch of the machine, the hand, uh, hand thrown switch stands, including automatic safety and matches of the stand standing in the mach machine fastening of the head block of the block ties to most of the high, tight, and avoided demand any movement of play. Examine switch lock keeper latch uh, foot lock apparatus. Examine the condition of the switch point indicated with not any of the unnecessary obstruction and visibility. Examine the heel block and the fastener of the bars. In the absence of the heel block, examine the heel of the switch point. Examine the seating of the sock rails and switch blades and ensure that the outer tread of the wheel cannot engage the gauge side of these rails. The chairs of the braces do not cant these rails. Examine the insulation of the gauge plates and switch rods in a single territory. 
When inspecting the frogs, inspectors should do the following. Conform with the, with the railway guidebook. Determine the frogs must be classified under voltage ridge, the solid magnesium, movable railroad bound magnesium, or spring rail. Ensure that the frog is supported throughout the unsound tightness and is well tamped. Closely examine the every spring, spring of the railroad, railroad frog encountered during the inspection. While the spring of the railway frogs has been successfully, in, uh, successfully used for many years, their unique design requires special maintenance and attention to avoid derailment hazard to training trail pointing train movements on the main track. Examining. Examine the toe of each of the spring for rail frog. These must be solidly supported properly, hold down co housing clearance maintained to avoid excessive extra excessive vertical movement over the rail wing rail. The ver first sign of the this will occur will the by be gouging on the gauging in the corner of the wing rail behind the point of the frog when wheel gauging must be can not confused with the channeling of the spring where Spring wing rail that is man 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 machined. At the time of the manufacturer to accommodate the wheel and the tread transition. Determine that if the toe is sol solely tampered, if not, is excessive horn with the horse housing clearance exists. The wing of the rail may vertical motion the operation. Operating the point of the rail, the training movement and the force with the wing rail will cause the wing rail to move laterally, allowing the wheel to drop in the, the throat of the frog. All right, your defects 353 through. Um, 41. Loose worn missing loose or um, worn missing switch clips, loose or worn missing clip bolts, um transit side draw, etc. vertical, loose or worn defective connection rod, loose or worn defective connection rod fastening, loose or worn defective switch rod, loose or worn defective switch rod bolts, loose or worn loose or missing collar pins, loose or missing rigid rail braces, loose or missing adjustable rail braces, missing switch for frog guard rail plates, loose or missing switch point stops, loose or worn missing frog bolts, loose or worn missing guard bolt rail bolts, loose or worn missing guard rail clamps wedges and separated here at block or end block obstruction between switch point and stock on the rail obstruction and flange way of the frog obstruction and flange way of the guard rail rail and physically anchor with the resistant restrain the rail movement the flange way less than one and a half inch wide stock rail only not securely seated in the switch plates stock rail canted, canted over tightened rail braces improper fitting um, between the switch point and the stock rail outer edge of the wheel contacting with the gauge and stock side side of the stock rail excessive lateral vertical motion movement of the switch point heel of the switch and insures Insecure, um, insecure switch stand and switch machine, insecure connection rod, throwing lever operable with switch lever and keeper in place, switch or position indicator not clearly visible, unusable chips are worn, switch point insufficient flange weight depth, frog point chips are broken, worn and accessible allowable, tread portion of the frog worn and accessible allowable, server, ser, 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 severe frog condition not otherwise provided, Over, outer edge, uh, wheel contacting side of the spring wing rail, toe wing rail not fully bolted tight, and tight, uh, ties under the wing rail not solidly tampered, bolt hole and defective in the frog, head and worn separation, uh, head, head and web separation in the frog is insufficient, tension of the spring holds the wing rail and against the point of the rail, excessive clearance between the hold down and housing horn. Also, 42 and 43 and 99. Turn out a crossover not being mentioned in accordance with the guidebook. 353, 43, lifted rail, assembly, other transition device, not movable bridge, not being maintained in accordance with the guidebook. And 353, 99, service frog condition not otherwise provided. All right. 230, 213, 355, frog guard rail, guard faces gauge. The guard check with the guard gauge faces and the guard shall be with the limits prescribed in the following paragraph. Um, the guard, the class 6 guard face gauge should be 4 and a half, 6 and 1 and a half, in, six, four, and a, 4 foot 6 and a half inches. And the guard face gauge should be 4 foot 5 inches. This is um, 4 point, 4, class 6, 7, 8, and 9, 4 foot 6 and a half inches guard face gauge. A guard face gauge 4 foot 5 inches. In some high-speed turnout designs, guardrails are not installed. The guardrail is, limit, is laid par parallel to the running of the rail opposite the frog to flange way within the rail. They throw it, everybody hold the wheels to the equipment to proper alignment with the passing through the frog. The guardrail must be guardrail may be must be maintained properly relative to the position of the frog in accordance with the accomplishing import and intended safety function inspectors should examine the guardrails carefully to see that they are adequately fastened and measuring the guardrail gauge fully considering any movement of the guardrail and frog and under the traffic conditions section 213 355 clearly specifies allowable talents for the guard check and guard face gauge for class 6 through 9 track 35501 guard face check gauge less than allowable guard 35502 guard face gauge excessive Exceeds allowable. And 355.03 cracked or broken guardrail. 
All right, 213, 357, derails. A, each track other than the main track, which connects to the class 7, 8, and 9 main track, which will be equipped with the functioning derail with the correct size of the type of the unless the railroad equipment on the track becomes the grade characteristic, uh, car cannot move over the valves and make the train main track. D, um, B, for the purpose of the section of derail device, which was physically stopped the der derivative movement of the railroad rolling stack over the other railroad track and equipment passing the location of the device. C, each derail shall be clearly visible where in locked position derail shall be freely in lost motion, which would prevent it from performing its unintended function. D, each of the rails should be maintained with the function as intended. To e, the derail should be properly installed with the rail for which is applied. F, the track protected with the derails is occupied with the standing railroad rolling stock and the derail should be derailing position. E, G, each of the derail on the track which should connect it with the class 7, 8, and 9 main track shall be interconnected with the in signal system. Application. Each of the track, uh, main track which connects the class 7 and above the track must be equipped with the functional derail in the correct size and type of the purpose of the section. Main track of the track is on other auxiliary track extending through the yards between the stations upon the trains are operated with the timetable of the train orders for both or use of which govern the block signals, thus control the siding of the main considered a main track. For the purposes of statute 213.357, a derail is a device which physically stops the derivative movement of the railroad rolling stock and other railroad on-track equipment past the location of the device. In Inspector must use the judgment evaluating whether or not the particular situation should constitute an exemption of the requirement for the derails. If there is any doubt that the railroad equipment, because of the grade characteristics, should not move to the file of the main track, the inspector should promptly connect, contact the regional track specialist for guidance. The inspector should note that the statute 213.361 requires the railroad to submit a railway of the way plan for the FRA approval. This plan must contain a provision for the intrusion of the vehicles adjacent tracks. The inspector must constantly, vigilantly identify the circumstances where the intrusion and protection is needed. Derails of various design may be the following types switch point spring, switch point siding, hinge, or portable. The derails can be operated with the various means of electronic hand, th hand throw, lever, mechanical, mechanical rod with a pointer other than then at the derail. They must be installed with the derailing rolling stock in either direction away of the track of the facility to be protected. If the track protected with the derail occupied with the strain, the roll railroad rolling stock with the derail must be in the derailing position. Of course, the derail would have to be placed in the non derailing position to prepare for an intentional intentional train movement. It's, 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 it's absolutely critical that derails track on the connected with the class 7 and above the main track shall be interconnected with the signal system. Inspectors should be periodically making joint, joint inspection signal and train control inspectors determine the compliance with, their re with this requirement. Are your derail defect codes are 35701 through 1 through 9. Derail, not clearly visible. Derail, operable, operable when locked. Improper size of the derail, improperly installed. Derail, loose or worn defective parts of the derail. Derail, not present when required. Derail, the device not pro properly designed. Physical stop of the derivative movement. Derail, not interchanged with the signal system when required. All right, track stiffness 213, 359. The track shall have sufficient vertical strength and withstand the maximum of vehicle loads generated with maximal permissible trains, cast can't deficiencies and surface defects. For the purpose of this section, vertical track strength is defined in the track capacity that is constrained with vertical deformations such that the track shall return the following maximum load configuration and compliance with the vehicle track interaction safety limits geometry requirements of this subpart. B. The track shall have suf sufficient lateral strength to withstand maximum thermal and um, lateral and thermal and vertical thermal and vert vehicle loads generated with the maximal permissible train speed and can deficiency lateral and alignment it defects for the purpose of the section lateral strength and defined with the track capacity and constraint with the lateral deformation such that the track returned with the following maximum load of the configuration compliance with the vehicle track interaction safety limits and geometry requirements of the subpart compliance with this section and demonstrated with the compliance with this track of the geometry vehicle track interaction with the continuous welded rail requirements and subpart with the, the direction and measurement of the vertical lateral lateral track strength are currently difficult to obtain the inspector must Monitor the track strength and use the tight rules contained with the track geometry automated inspection of the continuous welded rail section. Um, the truck must also have sufficient vertical lateral vertical and strength lateral strength to withstand the maximum load generated with the maximal permissible train speeds cannot deficiency of lateral vertical defects are such though that the track will return to the configuration compliance with the track performance and geometry requirements in the subpart. It is imperative that the track structure is qualified to accept the loads without unaccepted deformation of the limit of the one half of the net exact lateral vehicle lateral vertical ratio in the table of the vertical track interaction safety limits in statute two thirteen three thirty three is based on exploration of the prude, prude homelet Homie, prude homie limit expirational date data. 
Lateral rolls generated with the vehicles operating under the maximum speed, the deficiency thermal loads, initial line defect conditions should not cause the exemption of an allowable deflection limit. A key influence parameters are the track limit, lateral resistant characteristics, tie ballast, friction, and coefficients, vehicle, vehicle, axle loads, track coverture, thermal loads, and constant version versus variable lateral axle axle, axle loads. All right, moving on. 213-361. Right of way. The track owner of the class 8 and 9 shall be submitted to the barrier plan termed a right of way plan to the Federal Railroad Administration for the approval. A minimum of the plan will contain the provisions and areas demonstrated need for the prevention. A. Vandalism. B. The launching of the object of the overhead of the rigid structures in the path and two pathways of the train. C. Intrusions of vehicles of the adjacent right of ways. The application of the railroad is required to submit the barrier plan to the FRA Associated Administrative Safety for the approval of the plan should be addressed. The vandalism launching of the objects from the overhead bridges of their structures and the intrusion of the inspection for the most contained the copy of the right of the railroads right of way of the plan either from the railroad regional track special the inspectors will be asked to evaluate the railroad right of the plan for the comprehensive may be the direct preparation the manner and the recommendation concerning the plan after the plan becomes the defective the inspector must monitor the safety of the high speed railroad advised with the regional track specialist and concern. 36101 failure to provide a right of way plan 36 102 failure to right away plan to contain required information. Three, um, 213, 365 visual inspection. All tracks should be visually inspected in accordance with the schedule prescribed in paragraph C of this section. Person designated under statute 213, 305. Each of the inspections shall be made on foot or riding over the track at the vehicle and specified with it allows the person making the inspection physically inspect the track structure of the compliance with this part. However, the mechanical, electrical, and other track inspection devices may be used in supplemental visual inspection. If the vehicle as is used, the visual, visual, visual inspection, the speed of the vehicle may not exceed more than five miles an hour when passing over the tra track, and cr track crossing of the turnouts. Otherwise, the inspection vehicle speed shall be at a sole discretion of the inspector to be based on the track of the conditions inspection requirements when riding over the track of the vehicle when the inspection will become the subject of the, over the, condi or, or the following conditions. One inspector of the vehicle may inspect the up to two tracks at one time provided with the inspector visibility remains unobstructed from, on the, uh, by any gun cause the second track of the in not centered more than 30 feet from the other, the track upon the inspector's riding. So two inspectors one vehicle may inspect the up to four tracks at the time provided with the inspector visibility remains obstructed by any of the causes that each of the track being inspected is centered within 39 feet from the track of the time of the inspectors are riding. Each of the main track is actually transverse with the vehicle is inspected on the front of the least one every two years, two weeks, and each side of the actual transverse vehicle is inspected at once on foot at least every once every month. On high density commuter railroad lines where the track time does not permit any on track vehicle inspection where the track centers are 15 foot or less, the requirements in paragraph B3 will not apply. The track inspection records are showing to keep the track and is in traverse with the vehicle inspected on foot as outlined in paragraph B3 of this section. All right, C. Either the track shall be made in accordance with the following schedule. Um, class is um, 6, 7, and 8 twice a week, at least two calendar days intervals between inspection. Class 9, three times a week. Um, if a person making the inspection finds the deviation from the report records from the requirements of this part, the person shall immediately the initial aid the remedial action. Each um, switch point turnout crossover the lift descent rail assembly the movable bridges shall be inspected once on foot at least weekly. The inspection shall be accomplished in accordance with the guidebook required under Statute 213 253. In classes 8 through 9, no, if no track of operates for the period of over 8 hours, the track shall be operated at a speed of not exceeding 100 miles an hour over the track before the resumption of the operation of the maximum authorized speed. The success of the track safety program depends on the adequacy of the railroad inspection compliance plan program. The assure the railroad of providing with the proper inspection cover to the federal state and inspectors must periodically examine the railroad inspection records. As satisfied the section track safety standards, the owners must see, see um, that all the track inspected in accordance with the prescribed schedule for the failure to the owner comply with the schedule may constitute a violation. If an owner design, design, designated inspector supervisor finds the deviation from the track safety standard failure to initiate the remedial action immediately make it constitute a violation, the FRA and state inspector will not make a, the owner prescribes inspections will not monitor them in adherence for the track sa safety standards. Uh, will monitor them for the adherence of the track safety standards. Okay, um, for the purpose of this section, the main track is defined as track other than an auxiliary ra or track extending through the yards and in between the station. Paragraph B does not require the five miles an hour over the highway grade crossing. However, the section still requires an operator to perform an adequate inspection regardless of the need to permit the safe operation of the inspection vehicles of the highway grade crossing. 
Paragraph B contains the language specifying the number of the additional tracks contained be inspected depending on whether one of the two qualified individuals are in the vehicle and depending on the distance between the adjacent track and the measure between the track center lines. The inspector may inspect the multiple tracks by the high rail vehicle only if their view of the, uh, the tracks inspected by the unobstructed by the tunnels are different to the ground level and any other circumstances that would prevent an unobstructed, an, un, unobstructed inspection of all the tracks that they are inspecting. The section also requires the railroad to reverse and each of the main tracks of the body weekly and each si siding monthly. To note that the appropriate track inspection records. It is recognized that many of the high speed tire mounts and lifting assembles of movable w bridges, those will be probably designed in the future, may have a unique property. The railroad must thoroughly understand the nature of the, these turnouts to, and to establish the maintenance of the inspection procedures with it. Shall have monitored the FRA and state inspector the use of the turnout and crossover lift rail assembly of a movable bridge. Shall be inspected at least weekly and accomplished within accordance with the guidance book, guidebook required in Statute 213 2 um, the federal state inspector must familiarize the, with the guidebook content and conduct the inspection to monitor with the railroad compliance with the safety limits and procedures established with the, in the guide with the guidebook model also include the provision of inspection maintenance of the traditional turnouts. The high speed railroad must inspect the condition of the frog stock rail switch points, etc., and as the railroad would do in the lower tra track classes, see the discussion in, in um, Statute 213 Your in track class 8 and 9 traffic is not operated with a period of 8 hours. The railroad is required to operate the train at not exceeding 100 miles an hour before the resumption of the operation of the maximum authorized speed. The provision inversely is the possibility of the objects of the debris being placed on the track and it also mitigates the potential occurrence of vandalism. Um, this section requires each of the inspections performed but the accordance with the schedule must be made with on foot with riding over the track of the vehicle and speed but that allows the person making the inspection to visually inspect the track of the structure for the compliance therefore an inspection made with the vehicle driven along with the slide but the track does not constitute an inspection performed as required but the frequency the required may make an additional inspection using the inspection methods provided by these inspection reserved to comply with the frequency requirements. Inspecting after dark is compliance with requirements of subpart and long of the railroad inspector is capable of detection, detection defects. In this example, the inspection routinely made with the tunnel sub ways that may be limited to no limit lighting maintenance requirements may be required. Inspection after daylight hours and appropriate artificial lighting often can be substituted. When the FRA of the state inspectors are conducting an inspection on a high rail vehicle only, the track occupied with the inspection recorded by the Form 96. When conducted with the walking inspection, multiple tracks may be inspected to conduct it, counted as units of the Form 96 and recognized by the walking inspection to reveal more the defective conditions than in a high rail inspection. Therefore, the FRA state inspector may include the multiple tracks while conducting the walking inspection. The inspectors will be good judgment and ensure the high quality inspection will co while conducting walking inspections. In order to ensure the FRA inspections are highly quality, are high quality. When making a high rail inspection, the uh, FRA inspectors will only inspect the track they occupy. All right, your defect code 36501 track inspection other than the qualified designated individual. 36502 track being inspected at excessive speed. 36503 failure to inspect the required frequency. 36504 failure to initiate the remedial action for the deviations found. 36505 one inspector m m more than two tracks. 36506, two inspectors inspecting more than four tracks. 36507, inspecting performed on track outside maximum allowable track center distance. 36508, main track not transverse with the required frequency. 36509, side track not transverse with required frequency. 36510, failure to inspect turnouts required frequency. 36511, failure to inspect track crossings at required frequency. 36512, failure to inspect railway lift system. Lift rail assembly, other transition devices, non-movable non-movable or, or devices on movable bridges that are required for excellent frequency. 36513 failure to operate the train at 100 miles an hour less than after eight hour period with no train operation. All right, your 213-367 special inspection in the event of the fire and flood, service or storm, temperature extremes, or other occurrences which may have the damage to the truck structure. A special inspection should be made with the track involved as soon as possible after the occurrence, if possible, before the operation of any other track, train over the track. Um, the section... Application of the section is necessarily generally in the nature because it is not particularly specifically all conditions that could trigger the special inspection nor manner of the time in which particular special inspection should be conducted. The section is not meant to imply that the trains are operating most necessarily stop until the special inspection is made. And however, all of the special inspection should be conducted with the primary purpose of determining whether the track structure is safe for conditioned operation of the train. Inspectors are directed to review the significant impact of the rail operation in the regard of the storm as discussed in applicable safety advisory. Um, 
Because of the number of the train's derailments have been caused by the unexpected damage of the, from moving water in the path, the FRA deemed it appropriate to issue the safety advisory recommendation procedure for the relaxing best of the industry path practices of special track inspection. The procedure consists of a prop notification to dispatcher of the expected bad weather, two limits of the train speed on all tracks subject to the flood damage flood, uh, following the issuance of flash flood warning until the special instruction can be formed. Three, the identification of bridges carrying clothes. Class 4 of high track, when, which are very vulnerable to flood or over which passing trains will operate. 4. The availability of information each of the bridge, such as identification marks for those who may, may be called to perform special instruction training programs, refresh, refresher training for those who perform special inspections. 6. Availability of the bridge maintenance for the engineers employed to assist the track inspectors for interpreting the inspector's findings. Although the adversity contains the sample list of the super surprise events that routinely occur in the nature of the provision is not limited to the occurrence that's listed in the only natural disaster. Section 213, 367 addresses the need for the inspection other than occurrences, which include such as natural phenomena, as temperature extreme, as well as unexpected events that are human made, a vehicle that falls, the tra falls on the track that is uh, from an overhead bridge or the water main break that floods the track or roadbed of the terrorist activity that damages the track inter interpretation and not not new, the FRA has always viewed this section to encompass sudden surprises, events, and all kinds of the effect of the safety and integrity of the track. Inspectors should determine the procedures that have been established by the Romero to comply with the statute 213 and mindful advisory procedures are not mandatory procedures shall include the method employed by the, rail the railroad to receive the information the severe weather who received the information who received the information on the severe weather, who received the information was what it was done with the information. What the railroad is notified on the track damage in concurrence with the special inspection, and special inspection uh, must be made. A track owner may be designated any official responsible to make determine on whether our special inspection under the statute 213 of an is, is required. Designation is not limited to any of the certain craft, but officially must be trained and qualified to assure the proper inspection is conducted. 36701, failure to conduct special inspections when required. All right. Um, 213-369, inspection records. Each of the own, owner of the track which you impart supplies but shall keep the record of each of the inspection required to be performed on the track under the subpart. So, be, as provided in paragraph E of the section, each of the recorded inspection under statute 213-365 shall be prepared for on the day of the inspection is made to the sign with the person making the inspection record and shall specify the track inspected by the date of inspection, location, and the nature of any deviation requirements of this part. The remedial action taken for the person making the inspection, the owner shall designate the location which average original shall be maintained at least one year after the inspection covered by the record, the owner the, shall um, designate one of the locations within 100 miles of each of the state in the conduction of the operation with the copies of the record, which applies to these operations either maintained but can be viewed with the following 10 days notice of the Federal Railroad Administration. See the rail, rail inspection records shall be specific date in the inspection location and nature of the internal defects found the remedial action taken the date thereof the location of any intervals of the track not tested per statute 213-339-D and the owner shall retain the rail inspection record with at least two years after the inspection for one of the year after the remedial action is taken each one of the year each owner record to keep the initial inspe keep the inspection records until the under these sections should make the, those record records available for the inspection copy in the Federal Railroad Administration for the purpose of compliance with the requirements of the section and owner of the track may maintain a transfer of the records from the electronic transmission storage and retrieval provided that a uh, provided that one the electronic system must be designated such that the integral each of the record maintained with the appropriate levels of security such as recognition and electronic signature and other means and then uniquely identified with the initiating person as the author of the, of the record no two persons no two persons shall have the same electronic identity the electronic storage of each of the records shall be initiated by the person by making the inspection within 24 hours following the completion of the inspection the electronic system shall be ensured that the record cannot be modified in any way replaced or once the record is transmitted and stored any amendment of the record shall be electronically stored apart from the record which is amended. Each amendment of the record shall be uniquely identified to the person making the equipment, making the amendment. Electronic system should provide the maintenance of the inspection records originally submitted without corruption and loss of the data. Paper copy, copies of the electronic records amendment of these records, they must be necessary to document the compliance with this part. Shall be made in the, available for the inspection complying with the FR and track inspectors responsible under the statute 213.305. Such papers copies shall be made available to the track inspectors at location specified in paragraph B of this section. Seven, the track inspection records shall be kept available to the person that performs the inspection, the person performing the subsequent inspections. If each vehicle track and 
interaction safety record when required under Statute 213 g for the M shall be made available with the inspection copy in the FRA at the location specified in paragraph B of the section. Our application track owners are required to keep the record of the, each of the uh, inspection according to the requirements of the subpart prepared of the day of the inspection assigned by the person making the inspection. The regulation allows the railroad to designate the location of the 100 miles of each of the state designated location in which record it can be viewed. The inspector inspectors are required to give 10 days in, days in advance notice before conducting the record keeping that inspection designated location. If the regulation does not require the railroads to maintain records at those designated locations only to be uh, able to provide a viewing of them at the location within 10 days after the the location of the track safety standard stipulates the location within 100 miles of each of the state rather than locations in the state in each state to accommodate those lo those railroads whose operations may carry across the state lines but only a few miles in those cases the railroad could designate the location in the neighboring city the state provided with the location in which 100 miles at the state border for record must be kept for at least one year's at one year after the inspection covered by the report it's appropriate for the inspector to accept all records of it will be available for the inspection up to the date of the notification paragraph c required the track owners required any location when the proper railway inspection cannot be performed because of the railway surface by conduction section 213 339d specified the rail surface condition prohibits the railway railroad from prohibiting proper search of each rail for the defects the test of the rail does not fulfill the requirements of statute 313 and 339a which requires secures of the internal defects at the specific intervals subsection c requires the record keeping of those instances all right, Section 213.369E contains the requirement of maintaining the retrieving electronic records of the track inspection. This allows each of the railroads to design its own electronic system as long as it system meets the specified criteria safeguard of the integrity and authentication of each of the record. The provision also requires the railroad to make available paper copies of electronic records when needed by the FRA or by, or by railroad track inspectors. The track owner has the liberty to devise any of the forms deficient, deemed sufficient to meet the required standards if the owner requires inspections at more frequent intervals than specified by the statute 213.365c. The only requirement to prepare with the maintain and inspect the records to perform the minimum inspection frequency. The section is explicitly concerning with required information link and contained... Um, Contained in those inspection records, the MS specified the track inspector included the provision under Statute 213.365b3, date of the inspection location, the nature of the need to affect the remedial action taken by the person making the inspection, the train operation were conducted over the defect, the nature of the defect would require the me measurements to include the specific parameters, limits when defects are discovered, the track owner of the inspectors must determine the risk opposed immediately initiated in remedial action in accordance with Statute 213.303. If speed restriction is used, the remedial action to reduce the speed should be shown in the inspection records. Railroad track inspectors are required to list all the deviation from the track safety standards onto the inspection record. The FRA and state inspectors shall review the railroad inspection record to determine that it is reported accurately, indicate the track conditions as they exist in the field. Railroad inspectors are not limited to recording the deviation of the track safety standard railroad maintenance items. The inspectors should compare the defective when they find the railroad inspector's reports to determine the level of the compliance with the railroad inspector inspection. If the multiple tracks are in proceedings, inspectors the records must designate the track to a reverse. Any tracks not inspected due to the visibility instruction excessive existence as required in, under statute 213.365. When two qualified persons inspect multiple tracks in accordance with 213.365b, one report of the two reports may optionally be prepared. If one report is used, the report must include the notation such as the signature, initials, and printed name of the second inspector. Rail inspector records must be maintained by the track owner at least two years after the inspection and one year after the remedial action is taken. The record must be specified the location and nature of any of the rail defects found there, internal inspection of the remedial action taken in the and thereof. And the record, um, this record may consist of log sheets combined with the standard rail defects and change out report, community records, and other data kept in the track owner and containing all the record information. The rail inspector's records must specify the location of any of the rail that due to the rail, the serving condition prohibited the rail from conducting the rail valid. A valid search for all the internal defects is required frequency. If a valid search cannot be conducted before the time of the time's frequency expires, the remedial action and the date of the remedial action must be recorded on the inspection records. Inspection records must be available to the FRA state inspector inspection inspection and copying the track owner may elect to maintain the transfer of the records of the electronic transmission storage or retrieval and procedure of each of the record must have sufficient security to maintain the integrity of the record. Level of security must be identified with the person making the inspection as for the author of the record. The no two individuals will have or share the same electronic signature and identity. If the individual uses the electronic signature and identify the, their own violations of personal liability action should be considered for all the parties involved. The integrity issue of the electronic inspection record system is an 
extremely sensitive issue. Should the system integrity be compromised, inspectors will contact the appropriate track specialist immediately. Should the track specialist be unavailable for the inspector, will notify the appropriate regional administrative headquarters. Track division will be also notified. Um, the system must also assure that no record can be replaced and deleted and modified in any way that once the record has been transferred and stored, each amendment to the record shall be stored and separated with the record and amends. Each amendment must be identified with the person making the amendment and having the sufficient security to maintain the integrity of the man amendment. For electronic records, the inspection record must be completed with the day of the inspection either the computer or the temporarily on paper. The electronic record must be then uploaded to the permanent electronic storage system. Um, where the record must be maintained for the one year, the uploading of each of the section and the record must be completed within 24 hours of the following completion of the inspection. An advantage of the electronic system is associated with the reduction in the paperwork inspection, therefore, it must reply with the viewing of the record of the terminal and the monitoring screen. Whenever it is made available to the viewing of the record, although the printout of the, print out of the records must be available through the federal and state inspectors, inspectors are discouraged from the requesting of the paper are discouraged from requesting papers and copies of electronic records unless necessary to document in non-compliance. A, a, a paper of any electronic record may be cur remarked originally included with the documentary necessary, necessary for the violation report when recommendation civil penalties. Paper copies of electronic records amendments will be made available in the inspection copy of the FRA state inspector. These records will be furnished now upon request of location specified with the railroads as required with the paragraph B of the section of paper copy of the electronic railroad inspection record of the amendment may be available to the railroad inspector of any of the subsequent railroad inspectors performing the inspection of the same territory upon the request. Are your defect codes are 36901, failure to keep the records is required. 36902, failure to inspect or to complete a report at a time of the inspection. 36903, failure to inspect or to sign report. 36904, failure to inspect or provide required information. 36905, the railroad inspection recorded provided required information. 36906, failure to make the records available to comply with the inspection. 36907, electronic system does not maintain the integrity of each of the meth record. 36908, electronic system allows record amendments to be modified. 369.010, um, 369.09, electronic amendments are not stored separately from the record. 369.10, a person making electronic amendment not identified. 369.11, electronic system corrupts the loss of data. 369.12, uh, paper copies records not available for the inspection copy. 369.13, inspection records are not available to inspectors subsequent inspectors. 369.14, electronic storage are not initiated within 24 hours. That is the end of chapter 6. And chapter seven is about bridge safety assurance. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish that or publish it, publish one through six before I do this. Um, check out U.S. Army Corps Engineering, Railroad Rehabilitation and Design, DOD Track and State Investigations, um, and we'll hit that. In